What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of year again, it's December, which means the holidays are close. It's time to get cozy. I'm totally ready for this with my, ow, very warm, very warm. Well, it is a mint tea. More importantly, it's time for advent of code. So we're back. We didn't get through all of it last year, but this year the goal is to get through all of it. And without further ado, let's jump right into day one of 2022. Ah uh, yes, have we not missed this streaming setup? It's been so long. All right, so we're on day one and we're going to go through this problem. So as usual, if you've been here before and watched any of my three advent of code challenges, we're gonna spend some time going through the problem. I'm gonna figure out what needs to be done and then we will come back and we will compare notes. All right, so I've gone through the problem. It looks like the general idea of this is that there are several elves and they're all carrying some amount of calories of food, but like there's several calories of food that they're carrying. Like one bag can hold 1000 calories, 2000 calories, 3000 calories, whatnot. So they're each elf is carrying some, 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 haha. So each elf is carrying some amount of calories and we need to figure out of all these elves, who is carrying the most amount of calories for their food. So we're gonna go ahead and start working on the problem. So give me a second and I will switch over to the code setup that I have. All right, so this is the code setup that I have. So what we're going to do is all of the code, I'm gonna be writing these in Python, it's gonna be over here. Um, we're gonna have a file for the sample and then we're also gonna have a file for the input just so it's easier to switch between the two and I don't have to replace everything. So the first things first, I am going to paste the sample in here. Um, so we can see from the original problem that the elf carrying the most amount of calories was 24,000. So we want to be able to get this number. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write something that will allow us to read the actual files themselves, just like a helper function. All right, so I just copied and pasted this from what I had last year. So what this does is that it opens a file, reads the file, and as you can see, most of these problems are split by new lines. So I'm just gonna split it by new lines. Uh, and then we want a function to just solve problem, I guess. Uh, and then right now this is just gonna return nothing and then uh, at the end of this, what we want to do is answer equals solve problem. And we are just going to print the answer. So this is going to be the general setup we're going to use for all of these problems going forward. So going back to the problem, first thing we want to do is read our input files. Let me just write that. Okay. So what I usually do is that I break this problem into steps. So I'm going to write down the steps that I could think of from the problem that I read. So the first step it looks like is going to be loop through all the calor calories. Uh, and then there's two instances we can hit. So if we're splitting by new line, so it looks like we can either get a number or we can get a, well, empty string. So we loop through all of these. And then if we hit a new line, we basically go, okay, we have nothing, no calories now. We have 1000 calories and 3000 calories and 6000 calories. And then we hit this new line and then we're like, okay, so we have 6000 calories, let's put this somewhere. And then we've hit this new line. So that's our indicator, put the sum like in a, a list so that we can come back to it later. Then this one will start fresh. We're at only 4000 and then we hit a new line. So what we probably want to do is here is set up a uh, list to some later or sorry to get max later otherwise if an, uh, add some to list all right so that's what we're going to start with um and i just want to point out before anyone starts saying anything if anyone says anything um this is in no way like the cleanest way to do it. This is just me breaking down a problem because at the end of the day, I want it to be something that's easy to follow, something that's easy to comprehend, has like easy steps, and at the end of the day works well and we get the right answer. It won't be the most optimized. So if this was an interview question, I would probably do it differently and spend more time actually refactoring and optimizing this, but we're not gonna do that here. We're just gonna go with, let's get the number uh, as fast as possible in a way that's easy to understand. So. Let's start with setting up the list. So this is gonna be in the, uh, the summed up calories for each elf. Uh, and then we want a number that we can just kind of 
increment as there are calories. Then when we hit a new line, that is the value we will add to elf calories. So now we're gonna loop through all these calories. So if calories uh, is an empty string, then we, okay, all right. So let's do, we have if else. So let's do the elf case first. So if el calories is not an empty string, we're gonna do calories sum plus equals calories. Okay, and then if it is an empty string, what's wrong here? Oh, we don't have an if, that's why. Okay, uh, and then if it is an empty string, we want to do, if it is an empty string, we want to do elf calories append calories sum, and then we want to set calories sum back to zero. Uh, yeah, so we're doing this already. Oh, we need to convert this to an int as well. Okay, so the other thing to keep in mind is that the last number, so we're gonna hit the end of this, right? Actually, let me, why am I making this so complicated? Okay, again, there is definitely a cleaner way to do this. Okay, so what we wanna do here is make sure we add this last number. Uh, so we're gonna do of calories. Uh, and we've already summed it like by the end. So we just need to do the append, uh, basically this actually. Here I am typing out things when we have copy paste. Okay, uh, and then we just want to return the max of this. So we can just do max of calories. All right, so let's see what happens when we run this. Okay, we get 24,000, which I believe is what we want. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this on. Oh, wait, I need the input. Come back. Okay, so let's do input. That's a number. So let's see if that works. Oh, we did it. We got a gold star. Good job, team. We are rewarding ourselves with some tea. Mint tea with orange blossom honey eel. All right, part two. First half of this puzzle. All right. You know the drill, gonna take a few seconds to understand this and then we'll come back and figure out how to go about this. Okay, so this problem is just, we're trying to find out the top three elves carrying the most snacks. So the same thing, but with three. So I don't think Max can take like top X as a thing. So, so what I'm thinking is that we have this array, so we could just sort it and then take the last three numbers and sum the last three numbers as well. Again, if this was a coding interview, I feel like you would not be allowed to do this, but we're not in a coding interview. We are in advent of code and we just need a number. Okay, so we're sorting this and then we are going to do sum of elf calories from minus three to the end. So we should get, okay, we're back to the sample. So let's see what we get. 45,000, that sounds right. 45,000, okay, cool. Let's do it with our input. All right, there is a number. All right, amazing, we have completed day one. All right, thank you everyone for joining me on day one of Advent of Code and feel free to join me on my journey as I try to complete all of it for this year, for 2022. That is my goal for this year. So we will be back with day two of Advent of Cone very, very soon, probably tomorrow, but stay tuned for day two. Thanks friends and see you soon.